Okay, so I hope you guys are good. Let's get into it. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to ramble. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. So I've had a dream for a really long time and I've shared this with my engineer. Um, at some point in time, I need to, or I want to rather, uh, it's a goal of mine to develop like a, a music library of sorts, right? If you don't know what a music library is, that's cool. But now it's been a couple of years talking to my engineer about this and we still haven't gotten anywhere, right? Cause it's a big, it's a big, it's a big task, you know, to, to develop a library of like 500 songs, a thousand songs, whatever, right? Um, so then I started, you know, I called my publisher, right? I called him so on. And I told him, I said, listen, man, I've got this idea, right? I just want to, I woke up this morning and I thought like, you know, what do I have around me, <clears throat> within me, right? What do I have around me that um, can service other people, right? What do I have around me um, that might turn into gold that I'm sleeping on, right? And through this conversation, um, I realized that, yo, listen, I've been making beats for a really long time. I've been making beats since like I was 17. You know, I'm not going to do the math now, um, but that's a really fucking time, right? So what am I doing with these beats? What am I doing with all these old beats? Nothing, right? And I doubt I'll ever do anything on them. They're just going to die there, right? So instead of having them die there, let's do a beat yard sale where I sell these beats for dirt cheap. Basically, what you're paying for is the admin. It took me to open up these old ass beats and get them to work again, get the plugins to work again, get the instruments to work again, you know? And if that plugin I don't have anymore, I had to switch it with a new compressor or switch it with a new limiter, right? That's basically what you're paying for. They're cheap, right? <clears throat> but why am I doing it? And why does it make sense for me to do it? To me, it makes sense because I'm not doing shit with it, right? And my hope is that, you know, someone sees the opportunity, takes the opportunity, and turns this thing that was just like literally in my closet, collecting dust and turns it into gold, right? And if you turn it into gold, it becomes gold for me. So the only thing I'm gonna ask is buy the beat for dirt cheap. And yo, no, my dog is wild and just can't say. So well, fuck you anyway. So hopefully you take this beat for dirt cheap. If you're serious about your career, you know, you know how much a beat is going for. If you're going to be stars, you know how much an exclusive beat is going to cost you, right? Um, so hopefully someone is serious enough to take this opportunity, buy a beat for dirt cheap, and turn it into some gold. And if you turn it into gold, for me, then I'll be happy because now I own 50% of the red gear, right? So that's all I'm going to ask for. I wasn't doing anything with it either. Hopefully you turn it into gold that night. Now we both own 50-50, off, right? I think that's a sweet deal. And it's just something I'm going to try, right? Hopefully it turns into something where it's like, you know, a South African beat market. You know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I've been trying to figure out the Discord thing. Only thing is I can't sell, I can't post beats on Discord and not have you download it. You know what I mean? Like if I post it on Discord, then, you, then you're able to download it and that defeats the purpose, right? But hopefully I can create some type of platform where it opens up other guys in the industry who feel like they're a big deal, right? Uh, the big shot producers, right? Hopefully it opens the floor to them. And it shows them that, listen, all those beats that you're not doing shit with, you know, and just throw them into the sea. And maybe it'll become gold. Maybe someone picks up on it and uh, decides to do something amazing with it, right? That's my, that's my hope. That someone picks up a beat that I put my blood, sweat, and energy into. Um, and it's part of my story. It's part of my journey. Hopefully you take that and turn it into a piece of gold that we can both have ownership. So... Yeah, I'm going to start doing that. I don't know when I'm going to start doing it. I don't know. It might be the next week. It might be tomorrow. It might be day after tomorrow. Who knows? Um, I just want to let you guys know that that's what I've got on my mind. You want to go blow your nose? Yeah, maybe you should go blow your nose. Okay. Yeah, just go blow your nose real quick. Yeah. I love you. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what it is, right? So, I don't know when I'm going to start this. Um, but that's what's in in the cars, right? That's what I'm that's what I'm working on. That's what that's where we at right now. Next time you see me, we're gonna cut the studio and I'll be playing, you know, hopefully the first beat that's gonna drop as or four. It the beat sale. The beat yard sale. What the fuck? Well, what? what am I saying? Yo. I gotta relax. But anyway, hey baby, did you blow those? I didn't hear the toilet flush. I didn't hear the water running, you washing your hands. Okay. Wash your hands. You did. Okay, I trust you. 
Okay. So yeah, we're going to cut the studio and hopefully um, the beat that I play next is the first beat that I'll drop for the BR sale. I don't know what prices we're looking at. Either way, it's a fucking bargain. Um, this is a piece of my IP, um, which costs a lot, right? So this is me, instead of me making a deal with like a publisher and me making a deal with like a, uh, uh, a, a big, uh, label, this is me turning around and, you know, say, yo, instead of me doing this to the big guys, I'm gonna take it and turn around and say, yo, pass it back. You know, all you have to do is be serious enough to invest a little bit of your time and your hard earned money into a beat that you might turn into gold. Either way, you own it, right? Either way, you own it. But anyway, let's cut to the studio. Next time you see me, I'll be playing, hopefully, what will be the first beat on the BR sale. All right, let's go. Yo, so we back in the studio. Back at it again. Um, so I told you, I'm about to play a beat. One of the beats that I'm put on the beat yard sale. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the first beat that I put down there. I might put 10 beats up there first day. Who knows, right? Um, but yeah, I'm just going to play this beat. I made this beat 18th of June, 2013. That's crazy. I just turned 23. Just turned 23. So that's definitely over 10 years ago. Shit. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's go for it. Um, if you want this beat, you know what to do. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And just quick disclaimer, right? When you buy the beat, you're going you're gonna to get a contract. On that contract, it's going to state that any samples that need to be cleared are your responsibility. You hear that? Not my responsibility. Your responsibility. You already buy it fucking dirt cheap, okay? And honestly, if you if you mute the sample, it's still going to be the same. You know, it's up to you. Anyway, let's go. I was a demon at 23. What the fuck? That's that's an amazing fucking beat right there. And it could be yours at a fucking dirt cheap price. Just make sure you treat it as an investment. Create some gold out of it. And you know, and the rest is history. So yeah, uh, the BR sale is coming real soon. I can't give you... I'm not going to give you a date. It might be tonight. It might be tomorrow. Who the fuck knows? Peace! <laughs>